meteorologist Eric Sonitz and live Doppler 2X, the most powerful radar in the Miami Valley. Well, for now, things aren't looking all that bad across the Miami Valley. In fact, most of us are seeing dry conditions with just a little bit of rain out in northern Preble County. But once you head a little further off to the west, that's where we start to see some problems. We do have a tornado watch issued for portions of western Indiana. I wouldn't be surprised if later on this evening we'll find ourselves under a severe thunderstorm watch. That's something that we're going to have to keep our eye out for. Of course, we're tracking all of those storms using the power of Live Doppler 2X and our network of radars. And we can zoom in a little closer and show you what's going on. The northern half of this line pretty much falling apart. Not enough warm air to sustain any really strong storms up around Fort Wayne and South Bend. But our storms are actually coming a little further from the south. So down around Danville, Lafayette, that's where we're tracking a better line of some of these thunderstorms in here. And we can actually use the power of Live Doppler 2X and sort of do a cross-section on some of these storms and show you what's going on. This right here is a cross-section of one of those thunderstorms. And what we're seeing is what you'd normally see with a cold front, a multicellular line structure. What that means in plain English to you is there's a growing thunderstorm, then you have a mature thunderstorm, and a decaying thunderstorm. That's all good news for us. That means pulse kind of severe weather events. If we do see severe weather, it'll generally be one inch hail, maybe some gusty winds, and it should only last about five to 10, maybe 15 minutes for some areas. As this line continues to move off towards the east though, we're going to have to monitor it. We could see these storms strengthen a little bit throughout the evening, but right now things not looking quite as bad as they did yesterday afternoon when we were looking at this very same system. Our tornado threat, fairly low. Hail, we could see some one inch hail out of some of these thunderstorms. And if we do see a line of storms develop that sort of shapes into a bow, that's where we could see some straight line wind damage. Something we're going to have to watch. Again, these storms are moving in around 10, 11, 12 o'clock tonight, and they should be moving through fairly quick. That's why our flash flooding threat is fairly no, low. Now the areas under where we have to really watch out, of course, include the entire Miami Valley throughout Indiana and Kentucky. But again, as they move on through later on this evening, it looks like they will weaken. They're really not coming in during the peak heating hours of the day. Currently, 71 degrees, winds out of the south-southwest at 14 miles an hour. Our gusts have actually dropped off and our humidity sitting at 51%. Some more temperatures for you, 74 degrees with Bill Telzero and Xenia, 70 degrees Bob Jacoby and Piqua, 73 in Trotwood with Pat Lee Cannon, and 75 down with Jim Allen in Middletown. Average highs and lows, 58 and 38. We've been above these numbers all week, but we will not be as we head into Thursday and Friday. Some much colder air coming in on the other side of this boundary. Thunderstorms, scattered rain late tonight and tomorrow morning. Eventually, as the system moves off to the east, our winds turn westerly, bringing in some much colder air. And yes, tomorrow afternoon, maybe if we're lucky, up around 45, 46 degrees, and then down into the 30s for Friday morning and Saturday morning. Tonight, scattered showers, thunderstorms. Some of these could be strong to severe. 52 degrees, your overnight low. Same story tomorrow morning. Those showers moving out of the area by tomorrow afternoon. 44 degrees, maybe a peak or two of sunshine. The good news there is the rain shower should be over with. And your seven-day forecast showing those frosty temperatures on Friday and Saturday morning. Could see some patchy frost and then warmer as we head into Saturday and Sunday afternoon. Hey, at least 65 degrees for Saturday afternoon, right? Not too bad. For the weekend. Okay, thanks, Eric. This strikes.